Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In a surprise announcement which was made on the 26th of January over at Microsoft Docs, Microsoft now has changed the rollout status of uh, Windows 11 to a broader deployment now as from the 26th of January, which means now that Windows 11 will be rolled out to all eligible de eligible devices ahead of the original schedule. And Microsoft says here in this announcement, the upgrade offered to Windows 11 is entering its final phase of availability and is designated for broad deployment for eligible devices. Since the launch of Windows 11 in October, we have seen strong demand and preference for Windows 11 with people upgrading their eligible PCs at twice the rate we saw for Windows 10. So that's the reason they say they are pushing out the update now to all eligible devices ahead of schedule. Based on this trend, we are advancing the pace of the rollout faster than we originally announced and entering the final phase of availability for Windows 11 ahead of our initial plan of mid-2022. Now, obviously to get the update, if you are still waiting for it, you need to meet all the system requirements and you need to be running Windows 10 version 2004 or later and those minimum specs which I have posted on previously and um, you can just go do a search on this channel but I will um, you can just pause the video if you'd like to see the minimum specs just in case you wanted to be um, just to have a quick summary again of what those minimum specs are if you are still waiting and then also you can also use the PC Health Check app which I also have posted on previously on this channel if you would like to go check that out. Now, if you are still waiting for uh, the update, um, you can go now seek and check for the update and then the update will appear as an optional update uh, in Windows Update on your device if you meet all those system requirements and it is recommended, I would suggest waiting for the update to actually appear in Windows Update. That's always the best option instead of trying to force the update by some other means. Rather wait for Microsoft to push it out. And as mentioned, um, um, you should be seeing that sooner than later if your device does meet those system requirements according uh, to that recent announcement over at Microsoft Docs. And obviously um, uh, the Windows 11 update is an optional update. So you don't have to update from Windows 10 to Windows 11 if you are currently still happy on Windows 10, as Windows 10 is supported until 2025. But go check if you've been waiting and you still haven't received the update. If you do meet all those requirements, just go check for updates. And Microsoft says that um, that initial plan now is ahead of schedule and um, all eligible devices should start seeing um, the uh, Windows 11 update appear now in Windows Update on those uh, Windows 10 machines that meet all those system requirements. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.